Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. So on the news this morning, I happened to catch that, I guess it was a country <clears throat> rock star, uh, his house burned down because of a faulty power strip. These things are problematic, or apparently can be problematic? Well, sure, anything electrical can be problematic, but especially if you're buying cheap ones or using old ones or you've connected one onto the next into the next, you and know. A daisy chain. Daisy yeah. chain of, of power cords, of course, can be problematic. But, you know, one gets wet, an animal chews on it, your dog pees on it, any of those things can cause problems well, for it. And it's not in the wall, so there's more chance of having those kinds of things go go wrong he well he had said specifically that it was a part of his workbench area so assumedly well i guess it could have been moisture at that point but it, it could have also been the number of amps that it was rated for so if you have a power saw it's going to draw a lot more amps of power Amperage, than right. your mm -hmm. alarm clock and so every power strip you buy says how many amps it's rated for just like extension cords do and the more amps that you're plugging into it, the more heat that the item generates and the thicker the wires on the inside have to be. So if you have What's a, a safe number then? I mean... So I am overkill. Anytime I buy a power strip, I probably buy one that is 35 or 40 amps, which is about the most that you can have in your house wiring. So anything you could have plugged into your house mm -hmm. should still work off of it. And... The breakers in most people's house are 25 yeah. amps, so the breaker will trip before you burn up the power strip. And that's a good way to make sure that you're always going to be safe. So but, how can you tell, like, if you've got a power strip, will it list? Yeah, so on the back it'll say the UL rating, and it will say how many amps that it can take. Can take. Yeah. So how do you know if one's about to go bad or you don't? So... Almost all of the ones that are made today are UL certified and have the little yellow orange LED in them. And when that light is on, it's supposed to be safe. And when that light starts to flicker or goes off, it means that the device is no longer quote unquote safe or good. Interesting. Yeah, I, I think I need to like go around the house and make sure that because I've got a few power strips, but after seeing that and knowing how much you know I use, I never plug one. I did at one point, but I never really do that from one to the other uh, anymore if they go directly into the wall. Right. But, and, uh, and almost every place that I have a power strip, I have a UPS because devices are just happier if they don't get browned out ever. Right. And just turning on some big device in another part of your house can brown your lights just a little bit. And that puts a lot of wear on your, on your electronics.